I've got that other piece of red repair that I cut off of that one that I just turned. And I'm going to make a small natural edge dish out of this. So let me get my face shield on. I'm going to make sure i got clearance. Turn it up through the vibration. 40-40 gap. faulting but there's just nothing else I could do to save it. I'm going to come in this way now in an effort to try to save some of that bark. I don't care about the flats at all. What I care about is this. I want to sweep it up all the same. tricky part. I want to, I need to mount this and I can't mount it with a tenon. But what I'm going to do, I'll try to make this as flat as I can. Sand this up. I'm 
gonna have to be gentle once I get this glued on because there's not gonna be much there to hold it. And I don't really want to undercut this and hot glue gun over here. Put a big glob on here, flip it over. And that's relatively true, believe it or not. And it's squeezed out all the way around. So that should be good. So I'm going to let this sit for a while and harden up real good. I'm, uh, I'm going to wait at least an hour before I do anything. In the meantime, let's see if we can knock this off the lathe. <laughs> I'm going to leave live center up as long as I can. That's relatively true. It's not perfect, but I knew it wouldn't be. I want to start in here. Because I'm not sure how far out I want to go. Right there is where I want to go. mark so I don't go past it. Oh, I might go a little further out than that. Yeah, I need to go out a little further. So I think right there. Pretty little fish. I'm going to get one. 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 i on the bar, and then we'll sand it up and see what she looks like. Let's see if we can get this done. Okay, time to sand. I'm going to start with 120.
smart and put a dimple in that it would be so much easier but I didn't so what I'm going to have to do is a hit or miss kind of thing and get that close to the center that's pretty close I think I can do better that ought to work turn the back and check on pull it 20 inches First thing I'm going to do, I don't think I want to go above 600. Slow it down a little bit. I'm just going to take this deep enough. finish it when I come back. Okay, uh, it's not later in the evening, it's the next day. I was tired after dinner, so thought I would just wait. Let me get the vacuum on, sand this up a little bit. inches of mercury and it's it, it's still on there down to seven down to five three and it fell off so for those of you that are wondering how well the frugal vacuum chuck works it works very well you've just seen it i was spinning when i was polishing this i was cutting at about 750 800 rpm when i did the back when i was taking light cuts uh, but i was spinning it when I did the polish at about 900. So now we'll take this over to the bench and I'm going to use some alcohol and clean this out and then glue that in. But we'll be done. I didn't get any in the middle, but I did get some around the edges, see? Okay, now let this dry for a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do, I used epoxy last time. I don't know that I need to use epoxy. See my resin mess? From a bowl you'll be seeing. One of these years, I've been working on it for two and a half weeks, I think. 
It's crazy. I'm gonna put a little bit of CA right here, thick CA, Starbond. There'll be a link for that in the description below. And if you click on that link, as you can see, you'll get a 20% discount on your order. Get this with some accelerator. So here it is, that second piece from that piece of funky looking hackberry. One piece of limb, two bowls. I think they came out very, very nice. I'm extremely pleased with them.